This is a very simple case. We're here to enforce a 1996 lease and a 1996 definitive agreement between the city, Cleveland Clinic Foundation, and the Lakewood Hospital Association. Uh, there has already been breaches of these contracts by the Cleveland Clinic and Lakewood Hospital Association. Uh, the clinic has improperly removed some of the required services that are set forth in the lease. They have been diverting patients from Lakewood Hospital to other wholly owned Cleveland Clinic hospitals. And they have they failed to perform maintenance on the Lakewood Hospital building, which has been estimated by a third party to be close to $91 million of renovations that need to be done in deferred maintenance. They have also, Cleveland Clinic that is, has been improperly assessing administrative charges of 23 to 24 million for the past four years without explanation or detail. And we believe those are excessive for the amount of services being provided for Lakewood Hospital. Um, a very also important matter is the letter of intent that was recently signed. It was signed between Cleveland Clinic, Lakewood Hospital Association, and Lakewood Hospital Foundation. However, sitting on the Lakewood, Lakewood Hospital Association board is the mayor and two council people. And in violation of their office duties to protect the city, in violation of existing city laws, in violation of existing city contracts, they voted affirming the letter of intent to close and raise Lakewood Hospital, which they had no authority to do so. By their violation of the city laws and the city ordinances, and their refusal to respond to the taxpayers' demand to enforce the city contracts has forced us to file this lawsuit to take the position as City of Lakewood and to then perform and enforce the rights against the Cleveland Clinic and Lakewood Hospital Association and to maintain it as an ongoing concern. The lawsuit is the best method to require CCF to honor its contract agreement. This will give them the opportunity to specifically perform, define what the administrative expenses are, return any excess of funds, and to operate and return the hospital in the same condition it received it in 1996. Part of the requirement is for them to operate the hospital through the year 2026, to pay rent of over a million dollars a year, to perform maintenance, to perform and provide required medical services, irregardless of patient's ability to pay. Um, I want to clarify, this lawsuit is not against the doctors, the nurses, and all the other healthcare providers at the clinic, uh, but this is a suit against the nonprofit tax-exempt corporation that manages all its other wholly owned hospitals and the one hospital it is leasing and is proposing to close in violation of the lease terms. Now this case is similar to when Continental Airlines decided to leave Hopkins Airport and merge with United. Uh, Continental had a 30-year lease that runs until 2027, but they are honoring their lease. They are paying their lease and they're doing all obligations. This taxpayer suit here is to do the same thing, is to make Cleveland Clinic and Lakewood Hospital Association conform to the laws of the city of Lakewood and the two existing contracts to pay the lease terms for the next, uh, till the year 2026, which is over a million dollars per year, perform the deferred maintenance, which they have not done, which is over $91 million, an estimate, and to return any excess of funds from administrative expenses, which they have failed to do. Um, I believe that uh, people have asked me after the last press conference regarding taxpayers' demands whether we have any chance of winning this against the Cleveland Clinic. Yes, Cleveland Clinic is the largest employer in the city of Cleveland. Yes, they're the largest employer in the county. But they have the same obligations and rights and duties to perform on their contracts. And that's all we're trying to do, simply make them live up to their rights and contracts for the benefits of the employees and the residents of Lakewood to get hospital care and not build a $143 million hospital 12 miles west in Avon.